Hello everyone and how are you all doing today? I hope you all are doing awesome. Today's video is going to be an updated video on my Peruvian torch cactus. Hello guys. It has been a while since I gave you an update on my Peruvian torch. This plant is one of my favorite plants. But unfortunately this plant has gotten sick. Well it's not sick. I shouldn't say it just has an a small infestation. It's not in too bad, but I'm kind of concerned. I'm trying to I can't find let's let me just tell you. The plant has mealybugs. Ill, yeah, mealybugs and everybody know how it goes with mealybugs. Mealybugs like to take over all your plants if possible. And I have this plant in quarantine once again. I had her outside and I tried to clear the mealybugs from the plant. And it looked like it was, we all, um, I eradicated them. But to my discovery just a few minutes ago before I um, started the video, I checked the plant over and I found a few mealybugs on the back side of the plant. So I plan on getting my um, alcohol and neem oil and water and spray down the cactus. I noticed that, you know, you, as you can see, this plant does have pups on it. And I've been checking over the pups to see if the pups have any mealybugs. So far, they don't look like they have any mealybugs. So what I plan on doing is taking the pups off and trying to, you know, quarant I'm going to quarantine them, of course. And keep the mother plant quarantined as much as I can. But I'm going to keep the pups and make sure they don't have mealybugs and see how they do. And if this plant continues, I might have to just keep the pups and get rid of the plant itself. Because I don't want to jeopardize my other plant collection. And you, as you know, I have a big collection. I can't afford uh, getting my other plants sick. So I don't want to have to say goodbye to the Peruvian torch, but I'm going to do the best I can to try to get this mealybug infestation under control. What I'm thinking is this plant probably needs to be repotted. The mealybug's probably down in the soil. So I'll probably try to repot this plant and get all this old leaves and all this bad stuff out of there but i'm gonna give her a turn to show you where the meaty bugs are located oh oh almost ooh. okay i caught my finger a little bit okay i have some I'm trying to grow right in here and i see a little specks down in here with the white which could be the the babies but right in here as you can see focus there go one right there that white the white that little white dot over there that's the mealy bugs all oh, that is mealy bugs So, I got to get rid of that. I have to because if this plant was to, the mealybugs was to jump onto another plant, oh, it'll be bad. So, I can see that these pups look pretty healthy. And I would hate to get rid of this plant because I had it for some time. But I can't afford that, afford this plant to take over the mealy bugs to take over the rest of my plant collection. 
up there look like it's just a little bit of scarring. But it do have a little white in there. So I'm gonna spray, I'm just gonna drench this plant down with um 90% alcohol and neem oil or you know I when I didn't have neem oil, you know what I use and a lot of people probably ain't gonna agree with this, but I use cooking oil. I put a little bit of cooking oil in there, canola, and I put at rubbing alcohol, a little bit of cooking oil, and some water in a spray bottle, and I sprayed it down, and it helped get rid of the rest of those mealy bugs that was on there because it was a ton of them. And I kept this boy, bad boy outside all summer long. So, yeah, fingers crossed, guys. Pray that we can keep this plant a part of our collection, and so we don't, you know, have to say goodbye to this plant. I'm hoping that we don't. So let's again keep our fingers crossed. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for future updates. Until next time, I I will see I'm Bree. <laughs> and I will see you guys on the next video. Goodbye. Goodbye now. And I'll talk to you again. To God. <laughs> I will get tongue twisted at the end of the video, right? <laughs> Whew. I'm not redoing this video. Talk to you guys later, and I will see you guys on the next video. Bye-bye now. Thanks for watching.